After more than 20 years on the ATP World Tour, 38-year-old Tommy Haas is making his final comeback. The former world number two has one goal for 2017, to be in control as he finishes his career. Obviously, I want to finish on my own terms. Uh, that's, really, that's really what it's all about. Um, I'd like to go back to some of these events that I've had a great time playing at um, and, uh, and just kind of say goodbye uh, on my own way um, and, uh, and see if I can still play some good tennis and mainly also have my uh, oldest daughter, Valentina, still somewhere on the sidelines cheering me on. You know, it's not, it hasn't been an easy decision to try to come back one more time. It's, uh, it takes a lot of effort to try to get back in shape and, uh, and trying to play at a certain level, but um, you know, so far I'm enjoying it. I, I just enjoy intensity on the court. I, I like people that have intensity. And, uh, and go after what they what they dream about or the goals that they have, and uh, you know, and, and just you know, go for it. You know, that's that's really what it's all about. And you know, you're only here once, and uh, you know, you gotta enjoy what you're doing, be passionate about what you're doing. And, and, and I like uh, having the intensity. And I think if I didn't have the intensity anymore, it probably wouldn't mean much to me anymore, and I probably would stop right away. Proudest moment? Uh, I don't know. There've been there've been a lot. You know, I mean, just being able to play on the tour. You know, looking back now, is uh, is such an accomplishment, and uh, you know. It's like living your dream and you, you know, when you're seven years old and you tell your parents that you want to become a tennis professional and you don't want to go to school anymore and just play tennis and you actually make it happen, it's, uh, it's, such, a, it's such a great thrill. And I, I think the biggest compliment a fan can make uh, to me is basically just saying that they, they really enjoy watching me play. You know, I mean, that's what it's all about. I think if they come out because they, they, they love to, to watch me play because maybe they like my strokes or they like the intensity or they like that I'm trying to at least find a way to win, even though it's not always the prettiest or the, the nicest way, you know, that's, that's really what it's all about to me. And uh, that makes me happy if, you, if I get a few people into the stand still, uh, that makes, you know, all the difference. A two-time comeback player of the year, Haas has had a number of injuries throughout his career, but his motivation and hunger has never wavered. You never know how your career is going to go, and with uh, so many injuries that I've had, I probably, you know, probably missed three and a half, four years of not playing at all. So, in my brain, maybe I'm still younger, even though you know all these injuries don't help. I mean, all my idols, you know, they probably start playing at 31, 32. But uh, you know, there's still, like I said, some some goals of playing some events, and uh, for these tournaments, I try to be in the best shape I can possibly be. Tommy's passion for the sport has seen him transition to a new role tournament director of the BMP Paribas Open in Indian Wells. I guess from the player point of view, I kind of know what the, the players would want to change in general, which you know we've done almost there, or they have done almost you know every year, which has been absolutely incredible. But uh, for me, it's going to try to link all the three important things together. For me, it's the players, you know, obviously the fans and the sponsors, and really try to to give them uh, just an unbelievable experience. It's uh, it's nice for him for sure. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's his first year. He's still playing also, so it's going to be interesting. I'm sure it's going to it's, it's going to be good. And Indian Wells uh, has been setting up a very high standard, and it's been probably the most, one of the most successful tournaments in the world. Uh, Mr. Ali Ayrson has been doing a great job, and and it's his first year, it's his first time as a tournament director, so it's it's a great responsibility. But I'm sure he's going to handle it well. I'm lucky enough to have a great relationship with Mr. Larry Ellison, who is uh, very passionate about the game and has a great vision uh, over at Indian Wells. And uh, we've always exchanged ideas and. Um, you know, so it's kind of been like just an, an easy transition to make, really. I mean, the tournament runs so well. It's um, it's amazing. All the people that have done, uh, you know, worked there for for the last, you know, 10, 20, even 30 years have done such an incredible job, and uh, I'm I'm so excited to just be a part of it now. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, Miami Heat, the players head to the Florida coast. And can he make it to Milan? Denis Shapovalov is gunning for the next-gen ATP Finals. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.